Hi, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles, and today we're going to film what we're calling the French headband. Now, many of you have emailed us about this particular hairdo because you've seen it on Dance Moms a ton. So we're going to show you how to get the same look that they're utilizing on Dance Moms. So I've started by just parting her hair from ear to ear. Tip her head down a little for a second. You can see that I have already made a part line and that I have pulled the rest back just out of the way. Now I'm going to have her tip her head to the side and we're going to start right next here to her ear, right here. And we're just going to begin a Dutch braid or an Audi braid, whatever you want to call it. And we're just going to start adding in pieces as we go along. And you'll start seeing the braid form. Now on Dance Moms, when I watched it, I noticed that the girls wear many, many variations of this same thing. Some of them wear the full headband across the top. Some of them wear it like a half headband across the top. Some of them wear it into a ponytail or into a bun. So you can use this for many, many hairstyles and really play with it and have a good time coming up with your own variations. I will show you a few of mine when I'm done with hers. One trick I will tell you as I'm braiding is that if you're going to braid it on your own hair versus somebody else's, it's easiest to just do a deep side part like right here and then begin the braid versus starting all the way over at the ear just for convenience on handhold. So you can see that this is creating a nice Dutch braid for us and giving us that nice braided hand, headband appearance. And when you're done, okay, so this is where you can do lots of different things. I'm going to just finish braiding this really fast. My, uh, some people commented in my last video that I braid like a ninja. So we're gonna do my ninja braiding here and finish it off. Do you have the elastic ready? Thank you. Okay, so you can just let it hang down straight like it is right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just end it because she's got layers that are gonna pop out towards the end. Just leave it like this. So you can release the rest of the hair. And just let this hang down into the side, onto the side of the head like so. Or you can take the braid and pin it back like so and put a couple bobby pins here. Or you can even take it and tuck it under maybe right here, and bobby pin it so that you see a little bit of the headband going back, but not all of it. Or, I'll show you, come here. I've done all of our hair this morning with a variation of this braid. So, we have you. On this braid, you can see that we also did, but we started with a deep part and did the braid and then rolled it into a ponytail. And on hers, just to mix things up, turn your head this way, we also did another braid going straight back on, this, on the left side, just for fun. Okay, come here. Okay, and on hers, we did the complete full headband all the way around and just tucked it in under the back at the nape of her neck and pinned it and then let her curls fall down on top of it so it literally looked just very headbandish. On number four here, we just did a deep side part and did a little bitty one, a little bitty braid, and pinned it back. So this braid's gonna be great for shorty do's. It's also gonna be great for bangs. You can see that on mine, I normally have bangs that just hit right about here, and I have used the braid to completely pull my bangs in and hide them under my hair. So at this point, there's many, many variations. That's what's the beauty of this hairdo. You can pull it to the side into a side ponytail. You can do a side bun with the braid. 
I mean, you know, any many thousands of different things you could do. But that's the basic headband braid that they're utilizing on Dance Moms all the time. We hope you enjoy and we'll see you in our next tutorial.